So the media research company compiled a montage of media and punditry comparing the border crackdown by Donald Trump to Nazism, the Holocaust, and slavery. June 3rd through the 18th, the media devoted 176 minutes to children separated from their parents at the border. This on the heels of members of the White House being characterized as Nazis and white supremacists. Let's listen to some of the uh, comparisons of the new policy, actually it's old policy, finally being enforced by the Trump administration with regard to children being sent across our border. Here is the montage. Well, the images suggest those of concentration camps, families being cut apart. I know children are being marched away to showers. I know they're being marched away to showers. Okay, that is um, Joe Scarborough. Joe Scarborough, clearly not of uh, Jewish lineage, saying that, and this is erroneous, by the way, that children are being told, yeah, we're just taking it to the shower. We're just taking it to the shower. And then uh, removing the children from their parents. Well, there's a little difference there. Because children, family members, separated at concentration camps were herded into showers. Some of them showered with poisonous gas. This is an outrage. Ivy League educated Joe Scarborough should know better. Uh, are they uh, being told they are just like the Nazis had, had, had said that they were taking people uh, to This is an insult to the memory of those who have tattoos on their arms who suffered in those concentration camps. And Joe Scarborough, you should know better as you sit there with your harpy girlfriend on that stupid show that nobody watches. Hours and then they never came back. Look, bottom line, Donald Trump increasingly looks like Hitler in Nazi Germany. These <laughs> Unbelievable. Look like concentration Dave, camps. it's rewarding it breaking our immigration laws. unusual punishment, John. I said this yesterday, but increasingly Donald Trump is turning this nation into Nazi Germany. Unbelievable. Do you remember Barack Obama's acceptance of his nomination in 2007? When he appeared at the stadium in Colorado with the Doric columns and the flags, it looked a lot like Nuremberg. And turning these into concentration camps. That what's happening is very American in that this is how the country was founded. This is what happened 76 years ago to uh, Japanese Americans. Which was a Democrat policy. In internment camps. Now look. I, I, I know we're not Nazi Germany, all right? But <laughs> oh, wow. Well, thanks for admitting we're not Nazi Germany. I mean, uh, wow, that's, that's very big of you. I mean, you, you really did your research there. Bravo. You're a friggin' genius. There is a commonality there. Uh, I know it would be controversial, but I felt a warning flare was necessary. necessary. No, no, so it won't be controversial because in the mainstream media, it's not controversial. They're trying to soften us up so we can accept this sort of drivel so concerned about what's going on yeah and our all, all of us are so concerned we see these heartbreaking images uh, and it's it's so and by the way wolf blitzer should know better his grandparents died in concentration camps two of his parents uh, siblings died at concentration camps so awful and this is a policy that is inhumane indecent un-american completely dictatorial and like i said yesterday they are the tactics that have been used through the through history by the worst purveyors no no i don't think there are any bodies being bulldozed into trenches or people being shot as they stood on the edge of trenches naked uh and then uh uh burned cremated in giant ovens i don't think that's happening pure evil including slave traders it's not evil you a-hole including nazis including terrorists and now oh terrorists with that forgot it's terrorism okay yeah terrorism uh you know did did uh, i believe i don't see any children being locked in cages and set on fire like isis i could be wrong great country is using them is using them as well and we should all be ashamed there are commentators like joe scarborough bring oh, up the n-word guy. nazi uh, doesn't the tone of some of the coverage offend a great deal of americans who feel that the real scandal is that people are entering the country illegally in the first place yeah well that's a setup for a question that was uh, answered uh, against donald trump on college campuses, conservatives are called all of these things. The left over the years has done its level best to desensitize the public from the true horror of Nazism, the Holocaust, slavery, white supremacy. So they could use those titles falsely against their political enemies. 
My question is, where do they go from here? I've always said this. When you say these things when they don't exist, it's crying wolf. How much lower can the Democrat Party and the left go? You've compared those you disagree with to the most despotic regimes and leaders in the history of mankind. When there is no comparison, perhaps this is why congressmen are being shot at baseball practice and senator, a senator was attacked while riding his lawnmower and severely injured. This is why colleges and inner cities burn in protest. This all began as America's first black president strummed his fingers and whistled. Never with a single protestation. And it's sad. Thanks for watching.